Climate change amplifies the damages done by hurricanes in three different ways. It increases the reach of storm surge so that flooding damage goes much further inland. It dramatically increases the rainfall that's dropped from these storms, again, driving flooding. And it lifts up the power ceiling. It basically raises the maximum potential that these hurricanes can reach in terms of their power, in terms of their wind speed. Superstorm Sandy is actually a classic example of how sea level rise to date has already dramatically amplified the damage done by hurricanes. Scientists have actually calculated that 24% of the damage done by Superstorm Sandy was due just to sea level rise lifting up storm surge so that it traveled much further inland. The second way that global warming is amplifying hurricanes is by loading them with more rainfall. A warmer atmosphere can hold more water, warmer oceans offer up more water vapor to the atmosphere, and kind of like a bigger bucket dumps out more water, the atmosphere is now dumping out more rainfall when it does rain, and that includes hurricanes. For an event like Harvey, where you have over $100 billion of damage, one expert offered that maybe as much as 30% of that rainfall was due to global warming. So Hurricane Irma actually is a good example of how those two events came together in what's called compound flooding. We had extreme rainfall that led to extreme runoff, but then we also had storm surge coming up estuaries and coming up rivers. And where the rainfall and the runoff met the storm surge, we had record flooding in cities like Jacksonville and Savannah. So Hurricane Irma is also a great example of the third way in which global warming may be influencing hurricanes. We know that hurricanes are heat engines, and we know they thrive over warm water. And global warming, not surprisingly, is not only warming the air, it's also warming the oceans. And that makes more energy available to passing storms. In effect, global warming is sort of lifting up the power ceiling. It's raising up the maximum limit um, for wind speeds of hurricanes. And in fact, uh, the wind speeds in hurricanes are increasing. As sea surface temperatures go up and down, but generally go upward, We've seen the wind speeds for hurricanes go up and down, but generally go upwards as well. However, scientists are a very cautious bunch, and so they're not willing to declare with absolute certainty that wind speeds are going up due to global warming. That said, we know that hurricanes are more powerful because of the storm surge has been elevated due to sea level rise. We know hurricanes are more powerful because there's much more rainfall, which is driving flooding. So overall, we have a very clear picture. Global warming is definitely amplifying the damages done by hurricanes.